Hey, Wallet Hubbers. Today we're talking about how to tell who is at fault in a car accident. After you're in a car accident, you'll file a claim and the insurance company will assign an adjuster to determine fault. Determining fault can be a long and complicated process. The insurance adjuster will take into account driver and witness statements, dash cam footage, the location of vehicle damage, the position of the vehicles involved, and any citations issued after the accident. Adjusters may also consult accident reconstruction experts to determine fault. These experts consider factors like the point of impact, evidence of sudden acceleration, and the angle of the steering wheel. Insurance adjusters make a final decision using the legal definition of negligence, which is when a driver fails to exercise the same amount of caution that a reasonable person would under the same circumstances. However, states have different ways of handling at-fault accidents based on the degree of negligence shown by each driver. Each system also affects how damages are awarded. There are three types of states when it comes to laws about negligence in a car accident. First, some states use comparative negligence, which means expenses are recovered based on the degree of responsibility that each person has for the accident. So if a pedestrian is in a hurry and crosses a street in the middle of a block, and a driver is drunk and swerves and hits another car while trying to avoid the pedestrian, the drunk driver might be found 90% at fault, and the pedestrian might be found 10% at fault. Other states use modified comparative negligence. This is used by most states and means your expenses will only be covered by the other driver's insurance if you are less than 51% at fault. Finally, some states use contributory negligence. This means you cannot recoup expenses at all if you share any blame for the accident. If you're involved in a car accident and you want to speed up the process of determining fault or help your insurance adjuster, you should take pictures of the vehicle damage and accident scene, find witnesses who saw what happened, give a statement to the police and file a report, then provide the insurance adjuster with all of that information. Now that you know a little more about how to tell who's at fault in a car accident, you may be interested in purchasing a car insurance policy that will not increase your rates after you've been involved in one. Check out Wild Hub's picks for the best accident forgiveness companies by clicking the button here.